So in recent times I've done a few reviews on my fountain pens and I keep procuring more and buying more and having a bit of fun with them. But now I thought, you know what, it's time to have a bit of a change and have a look at something else out there. So when I got my first Kaweco pen, uh, which was a sport fountain pen, I thought, wow, what a cool brand, something unique. And I thought, well, you know, it's time for another purchase. So I went and got another one, but this time it's a little bit different. Let me show you and see what you think. So when I say something different, I mean a non-fountain pen, but this time a ballpoint pen. And uh, previously I have purchased a Kaweco Sport fountain pen and I thought, you know what, let's try the ballpoint pen and see what it looks like. And this is what I'm talking about here today and I'm gonna take you through it quickly now. Okay, so if you think to yourself, what's Kaweco? Well, Kaweco is a, a German made uh, pen and they do like to make pens that are slightly, what I would say, different. Uh, at times even unique and my first experience with the uh, Kaweco is the Kaweco Sport which I will show you now. So the Kaweco I was talking about is this one here. So as you can see it is a very uh, very uh, unique little fountain pen and I have done a review on this before but it's it's very small. Um, it fits in your palm and the idea with this is that once you open it it's still obviously very small. Um, you post it and you've got a full size pen, uh, black and gold trimming. Uh, plastic, nothing too fancy, but uh, it gives you an idea. And in my opinion, it is something unique and something different. But when we are looking at now uh, ballpoint pens, I thought, well, let's try something else from Kaweco. So the reason I picked this particular Kaweco, um, which is the Student 70 Soul, is A, it stood out to me. It looked different. Um, it does have a very, I guess, heritage and vintage feel, which I like, and here it is. So it does come in this nice little uh, gift box, which is very similar to the fountain pen that I purchased previously. And voila, you've got the pen and the spare uh, refill. So this model, uh, there are four different colors you can pick. This one here is the 70s Soul which is basically an orange and cream with some soft uh, golden uh, trimming around it, which is quite nice for a bit of a nostalgic and uh, vintage lover that I am. Um, the, the size of the pen is 130 mil, so it isn't a small pen by any means. Um, it is made out of, uh, what would you say, I guess a, a high grade resin, so it does feel solid, it does feel premium, it does not feel cheap uh, by any means. Um, it is a quite nice, nice pen. Uh, I'm not too sure if the, the lighting is doing any justice for it, but um, what, what you've got here is, a, a, I guess, a, a off-white or a cream, and then the gold trimmings, and then the soft orange top. Um, it does have the Kaweco, if I can just uh, focus on it here, uh, branding right at the top uh, and that it's in fact made in Germany and it, it does have the gold logo as does the fountain pen if you have previously seen it um, which is right there and the gold pocket clip and again the Kaweco brand, branding here and also saying that it's made it in Germany so beautiful looking pen in my opinion it does look it does look premium, it doesn't look cheap and nasty, even though it is a, a student pen. Um, it does have the G2 refill that comes with it, so that's always good to have as a spare. This one's a, a blue ink, um, and it is a ballpoint with a twist mechanism. And I can tell you that the twist on it, um, it is quite, well I would say quite pleasant, because it's solid when you open it up, but when you retract it, as soon as you gently touch it, it almost auto, um, or auto retracts. Okay, so for the all important question, what does it feel like and what does it write like? Um, now, I, look, I write like I've got, uh, well, let's just say it's not pleasant, but first things first, and this is something that's very important to me, um, the look and the feel, 
To me, it looks premium, it feels premium, um, and it is very comfortable. It's, it's almost like, um, I don't know if you've ever used a four color pen, it's sort of quite thick and, and comfortable to write. I don't know after a long period of time of writing whether it's still gonna be comfortable, but let's just have, have a quick test. It is very, very uh, smooth. And I think that's uh, important to, to note that uh, I might just zoom in slightly. There you go. Quick test. You know, the, the ink that comes with it is, is blue. Um, I believe the spare one is also blue. Yep. Um, but it is smooth. It doesn't skip. the best ink I've ever used, not the best uh, uh, smoothest lines, but in saying that, for what it is, I think it's quite nice. Now, you know, this is one of the other things that I sort of like in a pen is that if I'm using it, uh, I'm, I'm in a meeting, I want it to look nice and look elegant. So I hope you've liked this video. Um, this pen is a little bit unique, uh, particularly around the color and the model and the vintage feel. So um, yeah, if you've liked the, the video and it's provided a bit of help, uh, please click the like button. Um, if you'd like to see more, click the subscribe button and you can uh, be notified when I do more videos. But nevertheless, thank you for tuning in. My name is Sash and this is SD Reviews. Goodbye.